we have in the audience. Stand up. But I want pastors there. I'll take I want to see how many pastors are with us. How many more? You got to know there's more than that. Phil. Hey, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of the thank you. I'll give you a call back as soon as the meeting's over. Okay, I want to mention one more thing also. I'm a man of passion. And I'm going to sort of read shit here and say one thing that really went to my heart. And it said that we need to establish prayer in our homes. Yes. You know, and I sat back and I was thinking about that then. Most of this meeting, because I, I still talk about how much I get up and I drive all the way to Charleston to pray and then come all the way back home. But action, where we all can do something right now, is establish prayer and an altar in our home. Because when we start building that kingdom and that army, it will move right on into our congregation because we are the church. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you may know we'll, we will end in prayer. I'm putting you on the spot, Pastor Jimmy. Would you, would you lead us in prayer? Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for Jesus, the cross, and the blood that is shed. Lord, as we come together for meetings like this, Lord, I sense in every one of our hearts, Lord, we know that there's been a great turning away from you in our nation. We understand, Lord, that if we are to change the course, change the shape of our nation, it has to start, Lord, in our churches. It must start in our churches. We abandon you two generations, three generations ago, we took God out of the schools and allowed evolution to go in. Father, we are paying the price for that because the church went to sleep. But Lord, I'm encouraged because I see some rumbling. I, I hear the church waking up, Lord, from that deep sleep. Lord, I just pray that you would wake up preachers in the pulpit, Lord. Our nation is weak because our churches are weak. Our churches are weak because our families are weak. Or our families are weak oftentimes because the pulpit is weak. God, wake up, preachers. Raise up some leather loving preachers, Lord, who are not ashamed of the gospel, who are not afraid of the government, that are going to cause your people, Lord, to trust you, to live for you like never before. Change the course of this nation, Lord, with your help. So, Father, tonight, thank you for this group that's assembled. It's always an encouragement for me to come here and hear the people who are speaking and also to disfellowship with those around. And, and, Lord, I just pray that, as this brother said just now, that we would go to action, do things, Lord, pick something that we are passionate about. There's so many things, Lord. But, Father, we're an army. We're different battalions. We're different groups, platoons. And, we can spread out to all the things that need to be done individually, Lord, and we can assemble enough people, Lord, that we can uh, combat these things, Lord, with your help. Yes. But Father, may we go with the Bible in our hand, the truth in our hand, and not back down, Lord, at all. So, Father, just give us grace, give us boldness, and give us courage in the days ahead. We're going to give you the praise and the honor and glory because only you deserve it. In Jesus' high and holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, can we all thank the pastors for the